feeling out process for some of these players are over and now we have to start making some decisions now we're talking about kyron williams running back for the rams he's not on ir anymore he's on our active rosters he's more liquid right now than ever and judging from last week's numbers looks like we're going to have some problems here he had just 18 snaps ran 11 routes just one target and three touches for nine scrimmage yards he's in the thursday night game tonight against the raiders the one thing you want to think about here is baker mayfield's at quarterback with just 36 hours with the team so you got to understand the full capacity of knowledge he has of the playbook has to be limited this is also behind one of the worst offensive lines in football we saw cam Akers run the show last week in the backfield this is just an offense you can't trust you can't trust this offense at all He's going to have to live off checkdowns to be productive. We don't even know if that's going to be a thing. We don't know if he's going to get enough snaps for that. We don't even know if Baker Mayfield is going to check it down to him. There's a lot of ambiguity here on top of the ambiguity we already had. The main thing about Kyron Williams is he was on the IR. He could sit on your IR spot. Seen some ambiguity here at the running back position. But this team just kept getting worse and worse and worse. The offensive line just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And now we're here at this point and it's a dumpster fire. We already had a few weeks to monitor. It's, it's pretty much over right now. So if you look at the waiver wire... And there's some better opportunities. Some of the guys I've been talking about in the other videos that are still there. And you need to patch up wide receiver or you need another running back. You might want to go another route. However, there is some opportunity for him. But it's very limited. He's going to have to win catching check downs. Checking it down to him. Getting some volume in the passing game. Which can happen. In previous weeks, he's been leading the running backs on the team in routes ran and in targets. Slower week last week, but he did have 11 routes on 18 snaps. So when he is on the field, dude's running routes. So Mayfield wants to hyper-target the running back since he barely knows the playbook. That could be an instance, but no one's betting on that. But no one's throwing them in their lineups. I've seen some instances where some people have to start them just because they're so dog shit poor at running back. And I understand. We've all been there with some of these teams. And you just got to hope for the best. You're just feeling the lineup at this point and hoping to get by to the next week. And that just happens. That's just part of fantasy football. But honestly, he's liquid right now because he's not on IR anymore. We've seen enough of this team. We've seen his role. There is some opportunity for him to be productive, but you're just not going to know when that's going to be. He might have a splash game, and that could be like 10 fantasy points, 11 fantasy points where he catches enough checkdowns to be productive, but it's going to be hard for him to run behind this line. It's going to be hard for him to get enough opportunities. Playing against the Raiders tonight is an interesting matchup, but I don't even know if the matchup even matters at this point. This team's so beaten up and so destroyed that I feel like every matchup is a bad matchup going forward but let me know in the comments below what you think about Kyron Williams are you still rostering or are you moving on let me know I want to hear that but make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out I'm here to help you out with stash plays waiver wire options guys to put in your lineup sneaky starts and everything else but I want to thank you for watching